We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that a single introduction of wild rabbits triggered their invasion across Australia in the 1800s. Unwillingly you came, ears and whiskers torn from tunnels and huts to give company in stolen gardens at the very creases of the world. Beneath wooden decks you mixed and stirred, cloistered close for relief between the breaking, haunting sounds of strange and stormy seas. Arrival brought release, a colony of spoil that swarmed across the land like lightning striking twice, your wanton occupation a sure and certain shadow of our own. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, which has used DNA profiling to show that the invasion of rabbits across Australia in the 1800s was likely triggered by a single introduction event. European wild rabbits are invasive feral pests throughout much of Australia. They have caused considerable damage to the natural environment since being introduced to Australia by European settlers. Rabbits were first introduced to mainland Australia when five domestic animals were brought to Sydney in 1788, but it was not until the 1950s that they became truly invasive, where within 50 years they spread out at a rate of 100 kilometres per year, making this the fastest colonisation rate for an introduced mammal ever recorded. Despite the construction of rabbit proof fences, the deliberate introduction of the myoxma virus and other measures, rabbits remain one of the major invasive species in Australia, threatening in native flora and fauna and costing the agricultural sector an estimated $200 million per year. In this new study, researchers have combined genomic and historical data to show that this biological invasion was likely triggered by a single introduction of rabbits into Australia in 1859 at the estate of a settler named Thomas Austin in Barwon Park near Geelong in Victoria. A consignment of wild rabbits was caught on the family's land in Boltonsborough in Somerset and shipped to Australia along with some domestic rabbits. These wild and domestic rabbits likely bred on the ship and within three years had multiplied into thousands, according to both local newspaper reports and Austin himself. The researchers also point out that if the trigger for the invasion had been environmental change, such as the development of large pastoral areas by human settlers, then multiple local rabbit populations would likely have expanded. However, the study's genetic findings and the failure of pre-1859 rabbits to become invasive demonstrate that this was not the case. As such, this infestation event was triggered by a single introduction of rabbits into Australia, which were likely better adapted to the natural environment due to their wild ancestry. These findings also demonstrate how the genetic composition of invasive individuals can determine the success of an introduction and provide a mechanism by which multiple introductions can be required for a biological invasion. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Unwillingly you came, ears and whiskers torn from tunnels and huts to give company in stolen gardens at the very creases of the world. Beneath wooden decks you mixed and stirred, cloistered close for relief between the breaking, haunting sounds of strange and stormy seas. 
arrival brought release. A colony of spoil that swarmed across the lands like lightning striking twice. Your wanton occupation, a sure and certain shadow of our own. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Rabbit by Stanley Vestal. Stanley Vestal was an American writer, poet, biographer and historian who was born in Severy in Greenwood County in southeastern Kansas in 1857. In 1903, Vestal graduated from the new institution Southwestern Oklahoma State University in Weatherford before earning a Bachelor of Arts and a Master of Arts in English from Oxford University in England. Vestal taught for three years at the prestigious male high school in Louisville, Kentucky, before he became a professor of English at the University of Oklahoma at Norman. He temporarily left the university on three occasions, as a captain in an artillery regiment during World War I, as a Guggenheim Fellow from 1930 to 1931, and under a Rockefeller Fellowship in 1946. Between 1927 and his death on Christmas Day in 1957 from a heart attack in Oklahoma City, Vestal wrote more than 20 books, some novels, poems, and as many as 100 articles about the Old West. Rabbit by Stanley Vestal Droll and erratic, a jackass rabbit jumps from form to field or wallows in the sand, grotesquely serious, pop-eyed, waggle-eared, fit for the prairie, born of it, beloved, a Yankee critter, sinewy, strong and tough, to laugh at, wonder at, but not to catch. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. IdeaMe is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.